Hi, my name is Aaron Marcus, America's premier acting and commercial modeling career coach, the author of How to Become a Successful Commercial Model, the founder of HowToModel.com, and I've been making my living as an actor and a commercial model for over 26 years. Uh, this is the uh, third video that uh, I'm creating, uh, talking about an experience I had uh, very recently about getting booked for an NBC television series. And so for this segment, uh, what I wanted to share with you, it, it, it's actually, it, it, was, it was a very interesting experience. So I auditioned, uh, I got a phone call from my agent uh, asking if I was available certain days. Uh, once I confirmed that, then I finally got uh, the actual booking itself. And then I had to go for a fitting. Now, I don't live very close uh, to where this is taking place, and I happen to have an audition in New York. This was being shot in Philadelphia. I live in Maryland. So it was a pretty crazy day where I traveled to New York, did a quick audition, drove to Philly, and I actually had to go to two different places. And so this was a day where I had to get fitted, uh, and then I had to get approval from the director. And here's where the interesting part comes in. The uh, director was working on uh, a new episode, and this was his first day. I mean, typically for, for a lot of shows, they, they switch directors from, from week to week, especially if it's a, uh, a series where people are going outside, there's a lot of uh, things going on, and then they'll have the next director for the next episode do scouting, help with auditions, make decisions. So um, I went to wardrobe, or actually I went to hair and makeup first, and I can't give too much away uh, at this point, so I'm just going to leave it at that. I mean, normally you don't go to, to makeup, uh, but for this particular uh, character, it, it was necessary. I'll, I'll just, just say that. And so um, went there, spent, I don't know, uh, an hour and a half or so, and then wardrobe was in a different location. So I had to drive over to wardrobe, and, uh, and that is actually where the, uh, or actually, you know what, I, I got it backwards. Uh, I went to wardrobe first, got that uh, all taken care of, and then I had to drive uh, to hair and makeup. Hair and makeup was located on the set of where they were shooting that day. And like I said, this was the uh, director's first day of shooting for this particular episode. So things were pretty chaotic. There was a lot going on. Um, and so basically, I'm just standing there, uh, just sitting in a chair uh, behind the monitors, waiting for the director to look at me and say, yep, you look fine, everything is great, or no, I, I need to see something different. And I'm just waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and, you know, let me tell you what, it, what the feeling was. It's kind of like when you're, when you're uh, traveling someplace, you're flying someplace, and you, you find out that there's been a delay uh, in your flight. You're not taking off on time. And, you know, the, a lot of times the first reaction is you're frustrated, you get angry. It's like, come on, I just want to get onto the plane. I just want to get there already. And then, because I do travel, like because I do lots of workshops, um, you get to a point where you just give in to it. And you just say, look, this is the way it is. So either you can be angry and start screaming at people behind the counter who have absolutely nothing to do with any of this stuff, or you just accept it and go with the flow. And that's what I did very quickly because, I mean, really, I mean, what I, you know, in my fantasy, I wanted to walk over to the director and tap him on the shoulder and say, hey, would you just take one second, look at me, do I look okay? Great, see ya. Uh, that was my fantasy, but I also understood there's a lot going on. There's a lot of pressure. This director is thinking of 10 million different things, and uh, my wardrobe and hair and stuff really was not on the, his high priority list, especially considering we weren't shooting uh, for about four days after that. So basically, I just stayed very calm, sat, watched the monitors. Actually, it was nice getting a chance to get a feel for the series because it, 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 it hasn't aired yet. It won't be uh, airing until, um, uh, until the winter of uh, next year. So um, I just sat and relaxed, 
took it all in. And when there was a break, they uh, finished shooting a certain segment. They were getting ready to uh, break for dinner. The, um, they brought me over to the director. I mean, he had seen me, uh, but he didn't have a moment to really sit and concentrate and really look at things. And then he looked at me and he had a couple of suggestions uh, for the uh, makeup person. And um, then that was it. And I probably spent, uh, I don't know, like four and a half hours just waiting for the director to look at me and say, yep, that looks okay. <laughs> so anyhow, the important thing is sometimes you just have to go with the flow, just give into it, don't fight it. And, you know, certainly I could have been obnoxious about it. I could have had a tantrum. Um, but, you know, what? that's silly. It's not in my best interest. It's, it's ugly and uh, it's not in my nature. And it's also just not a good way to do business. So anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this information and uh, I'll be able to share some more things with you um, uh, just about the experience of working on an NBC TV show. So anyhow, I'm Aaron Marcus. And, and as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to email me at Aaron, A-A-R-O-N, at howtomodel.com. Or you can also send uh, questions to my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash howtomodel. Okay, looking forward to talking with you soon. Bye.